This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now today's video is in response to this email that I received a couple of days ago. Hi John, first of all, I do hope you're well. I recently subbed to your YouTube videos and I love the ones you do on expensive gear. I think they're called, what, how much? Are you still doing them? I haven't seen any from this year. Any chance you could do one on pickups? How much can you spend on a set of humbuckers if money was no object? Could be interesting. Thanks for the videos. See you on the beer stream. Andy. So, expensive boutique money no object pickups, is it? Fair enough. Here are a few options if you're in the market for some aftermarket humbuckers uh, and you've got a few hundred quid burning a hole in your pocket. Okay, if you're after that Satriani sound, then this might be the pickup for you. The Dimasio Fred, uh, 131.99. Let's call it 132 pounds each. Um, and this is a medium output humbucker pickup designed for Joe Satriani, uh, ideal for virtually any style, a rich and expressive tone. And the, uh, as you can see, the, uh, bobbins there are covered in chrome which is um, going to be a unique look isn't it uh, let's have a look and see what the specs are uh, you've got four conductor wiring so you can chop it in half and get a, a single coil sound out of it uh, i'll need to go five magnet uh, one thing i do like about um, dimasio is that when they quote the output of the pickup they meant they give you the actual voltage it produces rather than the dc resistance well they give you the dc resistance as well as you can see but it's nice to have the actual you know voltage output there which is more of a accurate guide to uh, you know the level of output the only potential fly in the ointment here is that um i don't think this pickup is available in gibson string spacing you see it's uh, it's f spacing so it's it's a bit like what uh, seymour duncan call their trem booker isn't it you know with a fender um string spacing uh so if you're looking for a set of these you're going to be spending just a shade over 260 quid let's move on to perhaps something a little bit more vintage inspired we're looking here at bare knuckle pickups um you know the um the names of the uh, of the pickups really give it away don't they you've got the stormy monday i imagine that is uh very much inspired by the uh the, the sound the guitar sound on the uh allman brothers live at the fillmore album uh pg blues uh riff raff you know vhd and me i wonder who that's in reference to black dog emerald that could be a that could be uh, an Irish guitarist that they're referencing there. I wonder who that is. Anyway, let's take a look at the Stormy Monday pickups that we've got here. Um, obviously, it's a humbucker. Uh, Stormy Monday is a sweet, articulate humbucker with warm bass, hollow mids, and a smooth high end that is very clear and dynamic. Authentically vintage in both voicing and output, the Stormy Monday humbucker is completely hand-wound with vintage correct 42AWG plain enamel wire and handcrafted with uh, butyrate or butyrate bobbins, calibrated sand classed sand cast alnico 2 magnet i do like an alnico 2 pickup um and uh what else can we say about this so a set of these is going to cost you um about 275 quid um you know basically if, we, if you're looking at a full set of those um so yeah if you're after that authentically vintage sound um they also do uh if we look here um a, a peter green set which is presumably uh you know got uh the, the magnet the wrong way around in one of them or the opposite way around let's say for that um authentic peter green kind of sound uh moving on uh 294 pounds will buy you a set of seymour duncan antiquity humbuckers uh with nickel covers um let's see what the specs have to say about these 
The Seymour Duncan uh, Antiquity Humbucket is a hand-built set that gives you warm output and the classic PAF sound. The bridge pickup is wound slightly hotter than the neck without sacrificing any warmth. Classic design features such as a lack of wax potting, uh, braided pushback cloth wire make these incredibly authentic sounding pickups. Seymour Duncan recommend the Antiquity Humbucker set for any for anything from rock and blues to jazz and pop. Incredible pickups with an amazing tone and this single review here seems to uh, agree with that. So again, you know, you're getting up towards 300 quid for a set of these. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Now, if you're after more of that Filtertron kind of TV Jones uh, pickup sound, you know, Brian sets of that kind of thing. Uh, but you only have, um, like, you know, you don't have a guitar that was designed for, for that style of pickup, then you can drop a set of these in. These are Seymour Duncan Cyclone Filtertron Humbucker pickup set. Basically, it's a set of uh, Filtertron Humbuckers in regular humbucker sized package. Uh, let's see what we have to say about these. Uh, whether for rockabilly, blues, country, or full-on rock and roll, the Filtertron pickup has long been the coolest tool for some of the coolest players. Now you can drop that twangy magic into any humbucker guitar with the Cyclone humbucker. Powered by double thickness Alnico 5 bar magnets, the Cyclone delivers vintage output for period correct tones with just a little extra muscle from the bridge position. Four conductor wire provide, lead wire provides plenty of wiring options and the choice of nickel or gold covers mean the Cyclone humbuckers will look perfect in any guitar. And if you want a set of those, you're going to have to part with, let's face it, 300 quid we'll call it but all of this all of this is just small change really isn't it let's take a look at the kind of money you can spend if you really want to go to town and just uh, demonstrate your your bank balance basically the Seymour Duncan Zephyr humbucker $479 each that's about 350 quid okay 350 pounds per pickup so 700 pounds for a set of pickups and what makes these um so special why do they uh, have that uh, that huge price tag well let's read up about them uh, the zephyr series was born from a challenge issued to vice president of engineering kevin bella to come up with a high fidelity humbucker that wasn't constrained by the usual consideration of costs and materials just dream it design it and build it the result is a tone with unprecedented treble clarity vibrant harmonics and incredible dynamics so far so good but you know uh, where does that price tag comes from well we need to look at the second paragraph uh, the wire on the pickup is sterling silver, um, the only material with a lower uh, CD resistance per unit length than copper. Silver wire doesn't boost highs and lows, it just does a better job of transmitting them. And silver's softness compared to copper allows for an exceptionally even, neat coil form. You see, that for me, there's there's a little bit of a paradox. Um, you often pay, you, you're often pay more for scatter wound pickups because you're told that gives a better sound now we're being told here that an even neat coil is what you really want yeah i don't know i mean i'm not an expert on these things but um you know obviously the fact that there is you know quite a substantial amount of let's face it the precious metal involved in these has something to do with the price i did see uh, a review or oh, ages ago that daryl braun did of a set of these pickups and his conclusion was yeah they're nice but really are they that nice for that kind of money um yeah i suppose like anything like this you know there is an element of um you know you are you're just buying the best because you can afford it or you're buying what you perceive to be the best because you can afford it and it's you know that little zephyr logo on there is um something that many people will will wear on their guitar as um you know just as a little badge of achievement and if that's you well good luck to you so there you go if you've got about 700 quid to spend on a set of replacement pickups for your guitar those are probably the ones that you need and it's usually at this point in these type of videos where I talk about which option uh, of those I would go for myself. And the truth be told, uh, I would have to say none of the above. I've never played 
the um, a guitar with the uh, Zephyr pickups in the the Sterling Silver ones, and I've never played a, a guitar with the Damasio Fred in there. But I do have experience of the Antiquities and certainly uh, a couple of different sets of bare knuckle pickups and stuff. Um, basically, you know, just students' guitars that I've uh, that I've borrowed or you know band bandmates guitars that i've i've had a go at and whilst i don't want to disrespect any of those options basically for me the 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 job of a guitar pickup is to do one thing and that is to capture the sound the guitar tone that you're hearing up here and for me nothing does that better than these these are vanson Classic 57 Alnico to PAF humbuckers. Humble, humble pickups, 35 quid a set. And I think they're absolutely marvellous. Uh, they do what I say, what I said earlier, a pickup is designed to do. They give you that, that sound that you're hearing up here. No other pickups that I've tried recently give me, get get any closer to that sound that I'm kind of striving for than these do so I'm happy with those but maybe the sound that you're hearing in your head is the sound of a 700 pound set of sterling silver wire uh Seymour Duncan Zephyrs or you know any of the others on that list and um if that's if that's you well good luck to you I'm just saying that that's not what I would go for so there you go next week and in the next couple of weeks i'm going to continue this series i'm re resurrecting the what how much uh series of videos to look at the obvious other uh candidates here we're going to be looking at telecaster and stratocaster pickups and possibly p90s we might go down that route as well i'll see how many options there are out there if you've as i say got a wallet busting amount of money to spend but for now that's pretty much all i've got for you folks hope you've enjoyed the video and found it uh, reasonably entertaining that is after all the point of uh, me doing this and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel uh, all the links are downstairs in the description thank you so much to everyone who is doing anything like that and thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it and don't forget as Andy said in his email the beer stream on Friday 5 p.m. UK time Time, uh, we sit and have a beer and a chat about guitars and music and possibly this week I suspect pickups uh, so it's a great way to kick off the weekend I'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now <laughs>